Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. Today I am going to start chapter respiration in plants. We know animal can respire, but you can see the plant around us, plant also can respire. But how do the plant respire? Plant respire through the stomata which is present on the surface of the leaves. Through stomata, plant take oxygen to break down the food which is produced during photosynthesis to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. And that energy utilized by the plant to carry out different metabolic activities and the CO2 which is produced during respiration that is again released from the plant body through this stomata. In photosynthesis, plant can make their own food with the help of the carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll and it produces glucose, oxygen and water. That oxygen again utilized by the plant for the breakdown of glucose molecule to release carbon dioxide, water and energy. Here in this slide you can see that This glucose molecule produced by the plant by the process of photosynthesis. That glucose breaks down with the help of the oxygen which has produced in photosynthesis. So glucose molecule will break down in the presence of oxygen and it will produce carbon dioxide, water and heat energy. So what we call it is we say it is the respiration so what do you mean by respiration respiration is the process by which glucose or food particle will break down with the presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide water and energy not only animal respire plant also respire here we are discussing about respiration in plants as we can see here in the respiration plant also release heat energy plant also release energy so with the help of this energy plant carry out different kind of metabolic activities Respiration is of two types, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen, where glucose molecule will completely break down and will produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. In aerobic respiration, glucose molecule will completely break down. That's why more energy is produced. Then what is anaerobic respiration? Anaerobic respiration is the type of respiration which takes place in absence of oxygen where glucose molecule will not completely break down. That's why it will produce less amount of energy and glucose molecule will incompletely break down and will produce ethyl alcohol. Sometimes it produces Instead of ethyl oil call, it produces uh, lactic acid, carbon dioxide and energy. Now another term of anaerobic respiration we call fermentation. Now here we can see the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. We can see here the aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. Anaerobic respiration takes place in absence of oxygen. Anaerobic, aerobic, sorry, aerobic respiration occurs in mitochondria. Mitochondria we call the powerhouse of the cell because energy produced there and it's stored in the form of ATP. And ATP we call energy coin of the cell. Anaerobic respiration occurs in cytoplasm. Aerobic respiration large amount of ATP produce. Anaerobic small amount of ATP produce. In anaer aerobic, sorry, aerobic respiration, total breakdown of glucose 
anaerobic respiration, partial or incomplete breakdown of glucose. And the end product of aerobic respiration are carbon dioxide and water. And the end product of anaerobic respiration, carbon dioxide and lactic acid or ethyl alcohol and energy. In this slide, we can see the chemical equation for the aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. We can see here in ana sorry. We can see here in aerobic respiration, glucose molecule will completely break down in the presence of oxygen and it will produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. Now come to the aerobic respiration. We can see here glucose molecule will incompletely break down and will produce ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and energy. This is a germinating seed. It can respire in the presence of oxygen and produce carbon dioxide, water and energy. This experiment I will discuss you later on. This is a curd. Formation of curd is an example of anaerobic respiration. It's a type of fermentation. Now I am going to discuss about gaseous exchange through stomata and lenticels and steps of respiration. Gaseous exchange in plants through stomata. What is stomata? Stomata is a minute pore which is present on the surface of the leaves through which plant exchange gases. Lenticels. What is lenticels? Lenticels is an opening which is present in the bark of woody stem and roots of dicotyledons flowering plant. Through lenticels, plant can exchange gases. As we know, plant take oxygen through the stomata so that it can oxidize or break down the glucose molecule and release energy. But the process is completed in two steps. Step one, there is an incomplete breakdown of glucose molecules. The process occurs in the cytoplasm. So in the first step, glucose molecule will not completely break down and it will occur in the cytoplasm. Step 2. Glucose molecule will completely break down and it will release carbon dioxide, water and 674 kilocalories of energy. And the entire process occurs in the mitochondria. So in the step 2, glucose molecule will completely break down. That's why large amount of energy will produce. The energy which is released during the process of respiration is stored in the mitochondria in the form of adenosine triphosphate or in the short form we can call it is ATP. So energy stored here, that's why it is called energy coin of the cell. Difference between photosynthesis and respiration. We know photosynthesis is the process by which plant can make their own food with the help of the carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll and it produces glucose, oxygen and water. But in respiration, the process by which food will completely break down in the presence of oxygen. 
so in the photosynthesis food will produce in respiration food will break down maybe completely or incompletely in photosynthesis carbon dioxide taken in in respiration oxygen taken in in photosynthesis oxygen given off in respiration carbon dioxide and water given off in photosynthesis energy from sunlight stored in a glucose means solar energy converted into the chemical energy but in respiration stored energy in glucose release because glucose will completely or incompletely break down and it will release less energy or more energy photosynthesis occurs in the presence of chlorophyll plants only and respiration occurs in all living organism photosynthesis needed light but respiration doesn't require light now i'm going to discuss you about experiment of respiration experiment to show that carbon dioxide is given out during respiration here we can see one conical flask is there which is filled with germinating seeds one test tube is tied up with a thread which is filled with koh solution one cork is there which is close the mouth of conical flask one bent glass has inserted in the conical flask and another side is inserted in the container which is filled with water then we will note down the initial level of water if you keep the experimental setup for sometimes or an hour you will find out that or you will observe that water level has gone up till here why it has happened because germinating seed can respire and this germinating seed respire means the stored food particle in the germinating seed will break down in the presence of oxygen and it will produce carbon dioxide water and energy and that carbon dioxide will fill up this conical flask which is absorbed by koh solution so after absorption of carbon dioxide one gap or empty space will be created inside the conical flask to compensate or to fill up that empty space or gap the water will rise up from the container to the bent glass tube so from here we can conclude that carbon dioxide is given out during respiration as i already discussed in the previous slide germinating seeds release carbon dioxide during respiration and this experiment i will tell you about germinating seeds release heat energy during respiration here we can see two thermo flask one is filled up with the boiled seeds or dead seeds another is filled up with the germinating seeds thermometer has inserted in each thermo flask the mouth of the thermo flask has closed with cotton wool plug if you keep this experimental setup for an hour 
you will see the rise of temperature in the thermometer which has inserted in germinating seeds before going to start the experiment we have to note down the initial temperature of each thermometer and after an hour we can see the rise of temperature in the thermometer which has inserted in the germinating seed and the thermometer which has inserted in the boil seed or dead seed there is very less rise of temperature rather than the thermometer which has inserted in the germinating seed so from here we can say that germinating seed respire it breaks down the food particle in the presence of oxygen and it produces carbon dioxide water and heat energy because of this heat energy which is produced in the respiration the temperature has gone up in the thermometer which has inserted in the germinating seeds thermo flask so from here we can conclude that germinating seed release heat during respiration thank you in the next video i will discuss about the new chapter thank you